Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. It is so cold outside, y'all. It's cold. It's dreary. It rained all night last night. All night. I mean, thundering and lightning and rain. And when it rains in New Orleans, it rains, y'all. It rains. <laughs> but today, guys, I want to share with you all what? Seeds you can drop in the month of March. Now, you know, there's a lot of seeds out there. And, you know, everybody's showing their seeds and they have dropped their seeds. They got a lot of their little starts coming up in their little greenhouses, you know. But you, 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 you are still wondering, what can I plant? And if you have a small space, you know, you want this to be... Um, you want your space to grow some vibrant vegetables, right? So today, I'm going to give you an extensive list of what you can grow, what you can drop, what you can start <laughs> in the month of March. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> I will be sharing... My zone nine garden. So the first seed on my list is an artichoke. That's an artichoke. It's an artichoke. So if you're thinking about growing an artichoke, March is a great month to start your artichokes. Okay. And the next is beans. Beans. Now these are from the Dollar Tree. And let me tell you, they give you lots and lots of beans. Here's more peas. Drop your peas. Great, great month. Also in the beans, we have some tongue beans. Uh, where are they? Also, fava beans. Beans. All those beans. They love, love, love. Hey, here's another bean. Beans. They love March. Drop them in March. They're going to do well. Corn. Corn, drop your corn in March. So here's one corn here. That's a lavender corn. Here is peaches and creams, one of my favorite. Also, I'm trying for the very first time, honey and cream. Honey and cream. No, no, I gotta taste that thing. I gotta taste it. And here goes my eggplant. So I have some purple long eggplants. The very new night white eggplant. Also, we have the baby Casper white. Also, the Rose Bianca. Boom! Isn't that thing going? I can't wait to taste this. Yeah. Also, it's a great time to drop your leeks. You see that leek? That's a leek, y'all. It's a leek. Your leeks, your shallots, drop your leeks. More leeks. Yeah. All right, guys, here we go. I hope you have your pins ready, right? So, carrots. Drop your carrots. March. They love it. Here's more carrots. That's the bigger carrots, right? Yeah. They love it. And the ones that I prefer is these little small ones. And where is this from? The Dollar Tree. They grow beautifully. Yes. Also, celery. So here is some crispy celery. Here is some Chinese pink celery. The girl still serving me. She's still serving me. Yes. Also, it's time to drop all of your brassicas. You know, like your kales and bok choy. I'm going to get to that. But let's go through this some more, okay? Cucumbers. So, this season, I will be growing the white cucumber. 
the lemon cucumber. <laughs> My favorite baby I found yesterday. The Armenian cucumber. He has a spring burpee. Is it burpee? Burpless cucumber. Yeah. Also, I have a garden sweet cucumber. And this thing I got from Baker Creek. Mm, you see that? Cucumber. Mm. Yes. Also, getting back to my brassicas, you know, just y'all know. Y'all know. Y'all already know. I got to have that kohlrabi, right? And lettuce. Drop your lettuce. Yep. And of course, there's shallots. And this is a new one that I'm trying again. Well, I'm trying it a second time around. And that is these um, dragon tail uh, radish. Um, now, I did grow some last season, but they were destroyed. So, I'm going to do it again. Do it again. All right. <laughs> Let's get on with the squash. Squash love March, right? So, here's some zucchini squash and some acorn squash. Yeah. Here is some early bush scallop squash that looks like a patty pan but yeah, yeah. it's um a 49er hybrid mm -hmm, there she is and of course one of my favorites is a spaghetti squash y'all it's a spaghetti squash yeah so this year i'm growing three varieties of okra so one of the okras i'm growing is a louisiana green velvet okra. I'm also going to grow the, the spineless okra and the red okra from my girl Sue. All right, I'm going to drop those. So let's talk about some peppers. And everybody loves peppers from sweet. I love sweet peppers. I do a couple of the hot peppers just for family members or friends. But for me and my palate, I want sweet peppers, y'all. So I'm growing a variety of sweet peppers. So here's just two of the peppers that I'm growing uh, this season. So this is a yellow monster pepper. Hmm. I never grew up before. But <laughs> y'all know I'm going to do that. And this <laughs> Zulu pepper. Got to do that. Now I also have white pepper purple peppers, and of course, the traditional red, orange, and green. Yeah. And for your herbs, what herbs do you enjoy, right? So looking at cabinet, see what herbs do you purchase? Do you purchase parsley and oregano? Yeah. Or thyme? You like thyme? Um, cilantro. Cilantro. So whatever herbs that you purchase, whatever herbs that you like, drop your herbs. March is the month to drop those herbs. Okay? Tomatoes. Yeah, all of them. All those different beautiful tomatoes. Drop your tomatoes. Drop those seeds. Drop them tomatoes. They love the month of March. Whew, I'm growing many varieties of tomatoes. So here is some of them right here of some of the tomatoes that I'm growing. Hey there. Yeah. So those are my tomatoes and yeah. Mm-hmm. March. All right, guys. So many of you may be thinking that you want to grow some fruits, more fruits uh, this season. So March is a great time to drop your seeds. So what fruits we can drop in March? So here we go. All right. Now this is something very new to me. I've, I dropped some seeds last season, but I dropped them too late in the season. But this time, mm -hmm, I'm going to hit a good in, in March. And that is the banana melon. Here it is. It's called a banana melon. You see where I purchased it from? Yep. It's a banana melon. Now, there isn't a lot of information about a banana melon 
like a, on a YouTube video, but trust me, when I get that thing, I'm going to spread the news. <laughs> yeah. Also, we have um, more this. And this is a blueberry seed. I never tried to grow blueberries from seed, but hey, I have some bushes outside just in case it goes slow. All right. I want some blueberries. This is from my friend Sue, and they are passion fruit seeds. We're going to drop them, y'all. We're going to drop them. And, of course, we have a tiger melon. Don't that thing look good? Wait, let me show it to you again. Y'all see? Baker Creek. Yeah, get that thing. A crunch, y'all, melon. Now, I've grown this before, and it is delicious. My grandkids love it. Honeydew. <laughs> I love a good honeydew, y'all. I love a good honeydew. Yeah. So that is my soft fruit that I'm going to grow here in my garden in the spring. Now, let's get on with the flowers. You like flowers? Let me share some flowers. So the first thing I want to share with you all is the bulb flowers. And these bulb flowers that I'm sharing with you today are those that I purchased from... You guessed it, the Dollar Tree, right? So these, this is just a few of them, right? Because we have so many more um, bulbs. And every year, there's new bulbs added to the collection at Dollar Tree. So keep your eye open. Keep your eye open. They come, um, come sometimes after Valentine's Day. So mm -hmm. give y'all a good indication. So, let's talk about the first ones. And the first ones are gladiolas. Gladiolas. And they come in an array of colors. And, um, reds. And what is this? Yellows. And they have the pink supreme. And, oh, they have the milage. And, oh, so many more gladiolas. Gladiolas is huge from the Dollar Tree. And they are gorgeous. And they come back every year. Here in my zone nine garden, I do not take them up. You don't have to take them up. Leave them there. If you want them to grow in that area the following season, so you leave them there and they will come back just like that. A ranunculus. This is a ranunculus from the Dollar Tree. And here you get five bulbs for a dollar. Also, Sorry about that. <laughs> the iris. Yeah. Now that's my iris. Ooh. They gorgeous, y'all. They are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. A freesia. A freesia. That's my freesia. Ooh. And they smell so good. So good. So good. Also, this one. This is one uh, of... Uh, the bulbs that came out last season. <clears throat> and there is some reds and pinks. Yeah, I have some more in there, but if I grab all of those stuff from, from in there, I, I'm gonna my studio gonna be full of <laughs> seed packs, right? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, there was another one. Wait a minute. Now this flower have become, uh, this bulb flower has become my favorite, favorite bulb flower from the Dollar Tree and that is the Mexican Tigridia. The Mexican Tigridia. That's what it is. Yeah. And that's mine. Ooh. <laughs> Listen, I love these flowers. They are amazing and they are prolific. They just <laughs> they come back and they're beautiful and I love them. And I can't wait to get out there and drop those seeds because I love the Tigridia. So, there are so many flowers. So, whatever flowers that you love, like, of course, Zenas, and there's so many varieties of Zenas. I'm trying this new flower, the marshmallow. I kind of chopped the name off, but <laughs> yeah, um, that's a new one. Also, California poppies, poppies, poppies are great to drop. 
alyssums, and they come in an array of colors. Drop your alyssums. Uh, and I have some amaranth, which is good for eating too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is one from the Dollar Tree, a cottage blend, I think. Oh, cottage garden. Drop this on. Just take the seed the pack and just shake it out there. Boom, you got it, right? <laughs> and one of my favorites, bachelor buttons. Yeah, drop you some bachelor buttons. Now, all of those blue packs, uh, what it is, American, uh, American Seed Company, right? That's Dollar Tree, okay? So many, many poppies and uh, all of these other flowers that I got like from Home Depot or Lowe's or one of those places like that. Oh, wow, that pack is really done in. <laughs> More Zenas Dollar Tree works perfectly, right? Awesome, awesome flowers. So, so, so many. Boom. Whatever flowers that you, you go to these stores and you see these flowers and you love them, that thing there, that's a hollyhock. Ooh, hollyhock. <laughs> and of course, y'all, my favorite. It's that little sweet pea. The sweet pea. I love her. I love her. <laughs> I love the sweet pea. Yeah. So also, I'm going to be growing a lot of this. And this is the purple perilla. So a purple perilla is good for eating. I made some wraps once with a purple perilla. They're delicious. But not only are they delicious, but they're beautiful. The leaves are just bold. The dark purple, gotta love it, you gotta love it, yeah. Lots of lots of brassicas, right? You want brassicas too, so mix and match and get it in there. So March, March, yeah, it's a good time to drop so many gorgeous, gorgeous seeds. It's time for us to fill up our produce department. And more. Look at that thing. Look at that. Yeah. So, one thing for sure. March. Is when you think about your seeds. Think about what produce that you like. Think about the produce department in your stores. What do you gravitate to? What do you grab when you are in the produce department? Do you grab shallots? Do you grab parsley? Yeah, do you grab those things? Whatever you go in. So I got to have this for my meal. I got to cook these bell peppers. I got to have that. That is what you drop in the month of March. All right, guys. I hope you all have a beautiful day. I hope this helped you make your decisions, you know, about what you want to drop in your garden, what you want to grow in your garden. Yeah, and would you want to fill your refrigerator with some delicious homegrown food? Yeah. And you could pass up the produce department at the stores, right? <laughs> All right, guys, you all have a beautiful, beautiful. Oh, that, I think today is Friday. It's Friday. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Later, y'all. <laughs>